We are at the American Library Association's convention in Anaheim 2012 talking to Keith Knight. Hi, Keith. Hi. What do readers really respond to? What do they love about your work? Um, I think they love about my autobiographical stuff, how accessible it is and how it, it comes off as like some sort of weird person talking to you in a bar and you're not really sure whether he's telling the truth or not, but it's interesting to listen to. Hopefully those stories come across. Um, and I think they like it because it ends. <laughs> At least I like it because it ends. I, I was never totally into comic books because it was always left with a cliffhanger every month. So it kind of drove me crazy. I was always into newspaper cartoons because it would stop, except the serial cartoons, which drove me crazy. <laughs> but um, my single panels, um, hopefully, because they're funny and they make you think. And my daily cartoon, I, I hope I hope it makes people laugh, you know. Um, I, it doesn't always make me laugh, but uh, a decent amount of it makes me laugh, so. Now, I'm familiar with your, your daily cartoons that I see in the newspaper every morning, because um, I'm old school and read the newspaper every morning. <laughs> Um, do you have other work that's separate from that? I do. Um, I do work for Mad Magazine, um, so I do a couple of strips for them. One is called Father O'Flannity's Hot Tub Confessions, and uh, it's a, a hot tub where there's a naked priest and uh, a little choir boy in it, but it's completely on the level, nothing going on. <laughs> and, <laughs> nothing under the water? No, no, no. And, uh, and, and celebrities go into the hot tub and confess their secrets. And then I do one called Bully Baby. And uh, and it's funny because I started it after I had a kid, but now I can actually take stories from my kid and, and, and make Bully Baby <laughs> cartoons. But uh, um, I also do just um, various one shots here and there. Um, so I'll get hired to do different things uh, for uh, illustrations or comics for uh, magazines or events or businesses. But um, I also just finished a Kickstarter campaign for my very first graphic novel called I Was a Teenage Michael Jackson Impersonator. Um, I was a Teenage Michael Jackson Impersonator in 1984. And uh, yeah, I made my goal and so I've been working on that for the past uh, now. How far? Oh, so you've raised all the money you needed? I've raised all the money I needed. Now I'm like filling all these orders. And is crazy. the book done? The book is not done, but there's, there's a, a, it, the book's going to be done in 2014, but um, part of the rewards are, are all these other things too, like original art, original nightlife art, K Chronicles art, posters, uh, CDs for my band. There's like all this different stuff. And so instead of like setting it all at once when it's in it, which would be a big nothing like nightmare um spreading out the nightmare <laughs> in two different set, uh, parts so. is it true that you used to work in a library i used to work in a library i was uh, a librarian at salem state college now salem state university uh, it was my work study program and um, yeah, I used to shelve magazines, and uh, I had a great time. I loved it. I've always loved libraries because that's I, when I was really small. I used to go to the library just to read all the comics, which consisted of Doonesbury and Peanuts books. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> now, what comics would you like to see in libraries? What are the great ones that you liked reading? Well, uh, I mean now they're there, so but. I'm a newspaper guy, so I love growing up uh, Bill Watterson, Calvin and Hobbes, uh, Gary Larson, The Far Side, um, uh, Peanuts, Doonesbury, Gary Trudeau, uh, you know, a lot of the new ones that I love, uh, Tom the Dancing Bug, I'm a big fan of, uh, Bob the Angry Flower. Um, uh, he's not in newspapers, but Lonnie Millsap, remember that name, Lonnie Millsap amazing cartoons. Um, uh, a lot of the new stuff that, um, like a lot of auto bio and indie stuff that um, a lot of cartoonists are doing out of New York. Uh, Gabrielle Bell, who's here today. Um, Amy Martin out of Oakland. She hasn't uh, done uh, oh, the librarian, uh, yeah. Amy Martin? Yeah. Amy Martin, the librarian. She does great, great cartoons, too. And uh, this is a lot, a lot of folks. Julia Wirtz is really good. Um, gosh. <laughs> just, now my mind is fogging up, but there's, there's a, lot of, a lot of great cartoonists out there. So, um, 
keep an eye out for it. And you just check out sites. You check out people's sites and then they recommend. You can go onto one person's site and they'll recommend their buddies and you'll just discover all these amazing cartoonists.